Hello guys and welcome to today's video and I'm talking to you today from Salt Lake City. here now for about a day and a half and I can honestly say it is a very very scenic place lots of nice mountain range nice little city the only problem is it is very very hot way too hot for an English guy today should be a good day I'm off to the Salt Lakes today which is obviously one of the big things here in Utah um, I'm visiting the great Salt Lake Park gonna check out some of the Salt Lakes learn a little bit more and hopefully capture some amazing scenery for you guys to enjoy apparently you are able to swim in the salt lakes so i am going to go and see if i can do that around two o'clock it's meant to be hitting 40 degrees celsius today so hopefully we can get the filming done and not be stuck in that heat wave but i'm going to be getting a taxi there now let's go Great Salt Lake is actually a remainder of prehistoric Lake Bonneville, which covered some of 200,000 square miles of land, which is now, in today, Utah, Nevada and Idaho. The present lake is about 75 miles long and 35 miles wide, with a maximum depth of only 33 feet. There are around 4.5 billion tonnes of salt in the lake. This gives the water a density that is approximately 10 times more than a normal ocean. The density is higher than the mass of standard humans, so you become buoyant and means you can float in the water. Feels like we're on a different planet, it feels like we're on Mars or something. We're gonna head to the visitor center and find out a little bit more information maybe. Past 10,000 years more. looks of it there are people who actually are swimming in it so looks like that's what i'm gonna be doing today i haven't got any swimming shorts so i think i'm just gonna have to go in my shorts or my boxes i didn't think that far ahead already the ground has gone from sand to like really dried out sand it's like it feels like a thin layer of rock like you can barely even see the lake because it's just so flat like everything is just so flat over there right there is where it looks like where the salt is built up the only other thing is the smell it is very salty <laughs> no time to waste i think it's time to get in i'm gonna need to put some sun cream on otherwise i'm gonna burn a bad box as it is That is one of the weirdest like ground like texture the ground textures i've ever felt it's like the most weird it's like really spongy it's like sinking sand almost but it's like 
it's really soft and it feels like you're sinking but you're not it feels really weird but you do float i don't think i caught it very well i'm gonna take my phone now it's starting to do that sinking thing now you can't even see it i don't think feet just sink in it gets a lot deeper as well it goes all the way down to like your angles so your feet just disappear under this dark sludge I literally don't even need to do anything right now. Usually when I'm trying to hold myself up, you've got to use everything, but this is just, I'm just floating. <laughs> that is beyond salty, don't do that. Oh. Look at the black stuff on my toes. That's all. That's what I'm walking on. It's just this black sludge. As you can see, we're just drifting towards the salt rocks over there. So we might as well just wait it out. <laughs> footprints of where I've probably been and someone else has probably been. As these salt rocks just go on for so long and then it's even more water. it's even more of the lake over there. So it's probably just even more of that black slushy stuff. Amazing thing is it's just so open. Like you can just see for miles and miles an end. And all of this is the Great Salt Lake. Like these are just different islands in the Salt Lake. Sink, sinks down. Look at my foot, ready? Look how far down I've gone already. That's not, over here, comes up to about here. And it just sucks you in. Gross. Right, so I'm out of the water now. Um, I'm gonna go over to the shower, rinse off completely. Okay, so I'm all dressed, I'm all done, I'm all showered. Just sitting here, taking in the view. Um, I think that's everything to be honest. Um, I really enjoy coming here, it's been really photogenic just looking at these views. It doesn't even feel like we're on planet Earth right now, it just looks like a different planet. If you're ever in Utah, make sure you come here. This place is massive. There's not just here as well, there's also Antelope Park over there, several parks and islands over here to explore and see other different parts of the Great Salt Lake. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And the next place I will be going to is...